Yo, so, the King Poo is back again with another video. And today we got a special one. Kind of 500 sub special dash. New thing we're going to make yearly. It's going to be the top 10 grinders from the year 2022 last year. And we're basing this off of uh, leaderboard score, highest leaderboard score, number of T1s, uh, luring them if they've like uh, done a lot of boosting and account sharing or any sort of like cheating. And then it's all like, opinion based. And the way we've done this is I've made my own list of top 10 and then I've asked six others to try and reduce the bias. However, uh, if you just listen to these quick disclaimers that no one gets too mad. All right, so first disclaimer is while we are using uh, uh, statistics that we found, uh, it's all opinion based. Because uh, we are using grinding as the whole, we're not doing a specific part of grinding, we're not doing free power grinding or spam grinding or anything specific like that. These would have completely different lists if we did it like that. So these are all opinion based from me and the uh, six others that I asked or got referred on to do, uh, give me their top 10 lists. So uh, because these are opinions, there is going to be bias involved. Uh, people are going to put guys they don't like as much down or think have boosted more than they may have actually done. Uh, lower down their lists, so um, some spots uh, you might a lot of people might disagree with, and this could be due to some of the bias. Uh, another bit of the bias is that most of the uh, responses were people that I have friends with, so um, they are gonna rate me a bit higher. Maybe I'm overrated, so you can leave that opinion in the comments below. Uh, so that's just something else to be warned of. This is not a definitive list. Everyone can have their own opinion. Everyone can put their own opinion in the comments section. That's all good. And yeah, so not everyone named 10 names as well. That's another uh, thing. I asked everyone for 10, but yeah, some gave 4, some gave 7, some gave 9. And we've got a handful of 10s in there as well. So uh, yeah, so <laughs> some players um, who might have been put lower down may have a slightly different point score to them to uh, what it actually is. And then uh, a side note. Uh, I've not been around the whole year. I've missed a lot of leaderboards. I've tried to ask a lot of people to uh, opinions to try and catch up for stuff that I've missed. But uh, I don't know everyone who boosted or didn't boost. I don't know every T1. I don't know who got the most T1s or anything like that. I've just used as much stats as I can to try and narrow down to give the, um, the best uh, list that I can. And hopefully it is uh, appreciated. So uh, first of all, we are going to go through the honourable mentions for the players that uh, were named on the list but did not quite make the top 10. Alright, so the honourable mentions, players that uh, did not got named in uh, some of the lists, or at least a list, but did not quite make the top 10. We've got Globophobia, who had the top 1, and apparently 4 top 2s. Uh, Shadow, top 10 pretty much every week, with, uh, I'm not too certain about the uh, the top 3 badges, but you got quite a few of them we've got Alqua who boosted quite a bit but uh, has made it anyways we've got NIIC Nick that Nick who um, definitely got top 1 prestige that was on the week that I grinded and that was a pretty chilled one and we've got top 1 bad as well at some point but I can't perfectly recall and then uh, other honourable mention we've got Patty the Spang grinder who only had a few calls that some of his uh, top ones or AT1 was, uh, had some a fair bit of boosting in there but uh, still a very strong grinder nonetheless all five of these grinders are really strong grinders everyone named and this is a really strong grinder and if you play against them you're going to need to be playing on your absolute A game to uh, have a chance of beating them alright so how we've done the uh, the point system is I've basically uh, just taken it straight off from Mario Kart so 15 points for first place, two point, uh, 12 points for second place, 10 points for third, and then minus one for each place lower. And so I got all the lists, done the points for all, uh, seven lists, and then added up all the points, and then we have our top 10. And so yeah, without further ado. Oh right, so in 10th place, we have Noob Spammer, who I could not find a part of the profile for the life of me, but I got this one which was... Uh, on the Moab pit, the day before the last day, he got to uh, over 30 mil. I think he just got one T1 this uh, this year. I'm not sure how many T1s he has overall all time, but I think he just got one T1 this year, but it was over 30 mil. And he managed to make two of the lists of the people I sent. And he just seems like a really strong all-around player. Uh, strong cards player. 
from just reading some Discord, sound like he's been around the game for quite a while. And yeah, he takes home the 10th spot on uh, the list. But uh, no higher as for only having one T1. And well, there doesn't need to be a reason, it's just whatever the points are. All oh, right, so in ninth place, we now have Galaxy. So Galaxy, I believe, got a T1 earlier in the year. And then he obviously got was going to get the T2-T1 against me, but then was uh, ended up getting flagged for boosting. But nonetheless, he still had a really strong span and was grinding pretty well um, before that. We're not sure how much boosting went down, but I still want to believe that he's a really strong span player. And that is why... He uh, got onto this list, got onto quite a few people's lists, and that put him to ninth spot. So, 8th place on the list, we have got Cheap. So, uh, yeah, might be a bit of a point jump it's from uh, 16 to 28, I believe. And, uh, yeah, so he made quite a few lists. He is uh, best known as being the uh, one of the best spam players. I think second best at spam is what he's been said, I don't know all the up to date span rankings and that, but uh, yeah, from what I've uh, from what the people have said who gave me uh, their lists, it is uh, very very good at span, very okay at all the other game modes, which is why he doesn't get higher onto these lists. And I don't believe I'm, I could be wrong about this, but I don't believe he's had like a really high grind or a really high grind this year. So uh, yeah, that's why he's a little bit lower down the list. That's why he's not been getting uh, as many points as some others. But uh, still a very, very strong. If you beat him in spare, he got a hundred win streak in span, I believe, earlier this year. He's yeah, really, really good at span. If you beat him in span, you are a goat. <laughs> so in seventh place, we have got four top. So another span grinder, only one point above cheap, but. Uh, a lot better at free power ups than uh, cheap, I believe, which is why he's gotten uh, just about above cheap, but uh, not quite as good as cheap as uh, Span has said before. And uh, yeah, he's really quite a strong all rounded grinder. I think what has put him in seventh place, instead of getting into like the top five, top three, is that he has been banned for boosting last week and he has been uh, beaten quite a lot of times by a uh, devil and if you're losing to someone that is higher up then that's going to put you lower down the list and uh yeah and i think he's had a uh, some falling outs of some of the guys higher up on some of the lists so that is then going to go into the opinion bias i'm putting him lower down the list but a very very strong grinder uh, should be respected all right so in sixth place we have rydog so uh it's actually quite a strong place since he didn't make that many lists, but he placed quite strongly on most of the lists that he did make. I think, uh, yeah, so only played for one month, but that month he got a lot of badges, which you're going to see on the screen. I think what has put him down is uh, only being one month, so some players who's uh, I got the opinions from for the list uh, might not have been playing at that time, or just were forgotten about him grinding. And then I think uh, one of the badges, or a few of the badges, I'm not sure, certainly, but apparently there was some account sharing going on. And so that has lowered him down in the uh, the thoughts of some people. You put low down on my list, I'll put my list at the end. But uh, yeah, definitely a top five all-time grinder for me. But uh, for last year, he's going uh, to sit at sixth place for me, for this list. Okay, fifth place is Crybaby. Uh, definitely the most controversial one on this list for a lot of people. Uh, he will be top three, maybe even higher debate for top one of the last year. However, the point system has given him what it has. I forgot what it is, but it's, it's on, it was on the screen. And yeah, I think what has really marked him down, because despite being very, very good at spam, very, very good at free power-ups, just that so many of the accounts... He's, uh, he's, he's he's the prestige world record, but he's um, he's shared a lot, and I believe boosted quite a lot as well. And since he's getting taken into account quite seriously, that has uh, docked his uh, position down quite a bit lower than it is. But uh, no, this player is very, 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 very strong player. Uh, pretty much every game mode, I think, he is right at the top level. You uh, really have to be playing your absolute best uh, to be keeping with this guy. 
Very, very quick micro, very good understanding of the game. Quick shot power lock. One of, if not the best. But uh, for this list's sake, and just the amount of uh, sharing has put him down to the fifth spot. But uh, yeah, this is a bit controversial. I can understand if you had your own list and you put him in the top three. That is uh, understood. But uh, yes, as previously said, he is uh, in the fifth position. All right, so in fourth place, we do indeed have Devil. So, uh, yeah, I think quite a lot of people would have put Devil um, comfortably below Crybaby, but the list is what the list is. I think he made everyone's list. Uh, Crybaby didn't make everyone's list. I don't know if that's from knowledge or not, just not being liked. But, yeah, so Devil is in fourth position, and I think it's rightly so. He's had a, uh, a few grinds into the 30 mils last year, which is, I think he... Might be the only player to have two multiple grinds above 30 mil. Not certain. He's got a very, very clean account. Uh, he's grinded well. Done a double over four top, another player on this list. That's very, uh, it's a very strong achievement. And uh, yeah, just really all round. Decent at the game modes. Very good at free power ups. Very good stamina. And uh, yeah, that's why he's made a fourth place on my list. In third place position, we have me. And, uh, yeah, feels a little bit high. But uh, this will be due to um, being on everyone's list because most people that I asked put me quite high up and then there wasn't too many others that I could get through that were not directly from me. Uh, but to be fair, I think I kind of deserve it. I got two top one badges, including the second highest leaderboard score from this year. So uh, that contributes to it. And, uh, yeah, obviously watch my channel you know my play style uh i would say not to be too cocky but very very good right at the top at, for free power-ups and then my free power-ups is good enough to uh as you can see from the leaderboard if you remember the grind i was keeping up with a spam player on span week who had been uh got done for um uh boosting by playing completely legit and not being good at spam at all, only getting ten and a half mil on spam, which is definitely the lowest out of all the players on this list. And the uh, extra is very, very bad spam. If I improve my spam, that would improve my overall ability a lot. I am working on it, trust. But uh, yeah, that puts me in third position. Couldn't go any higher, definitely not. But uh, I think for, for the year of 2022, that's just about fair enough. But uh, you can leave your comments on that in the uh, description below. In second place, we have got Sweat BTD. Uh, what can you say about this guy? Top one Spire, top one Span. Best win rate with aggro powers and free power ups in BFB Coliseum. Huge win streaks. Uh, I got loads of screenshots. Got to say thanks to him because he's helped me with so many of these screenshots for this video. So yeah, big ups to uh, big ups to Sweat for helping us out so much with this. Uh, I'm not sure how many um, how many top ones he grind this year, but. Um, Definitely got a few, and uh, none of them are that high, but just the reason why he's so high up and could even be first on a lot of people's lists is just how uh, how good his win rates are, because win rates are a factor affecting it, and he is definitely uh, the king of the win rates. He's a yeah, really, really strong player. If you don't know him, because he didn't make every list, but he still beat me uh, by nine points. <laughs> uh, seven points, sorry. That perfect 69 score. But um, yeah. Yeah, if you've not checked out his channel, he's got some really high-leveled stuff on there, and uh, you would recommend that. And uh, yeah, thanks to him for helping me out with uh, getting this video made. But uh, without further ado... And first place, never really too much doubt, topped all seven lists that I had to go off of. It is uh, Jimmy... Which, uh, a.k.a. Unogasai, a.k.a. Elite God now, a.k.a. I don't even know, Future Diary Leader, all, all of that. And why is he top one on everyone's list? If you had forgotten, he got the uh, the world record for Spega Week, which is the week after Speed Bonanza, without playing in uh, Speed Mega Boost cards. His free power-up and his stamina is just, yeah, incredible. He got 42.69 million, the most for that mode. And he could have gone way higher. He stopped on boss, like, really early. 
to sleep. He is just there. Uh, yeah, he's and, and uh, yo, well, uh, I can my English can work. And I would tell you that uh, this was also during the time when the glue gunner was bugged. And instead of uh, being like me and most of the community and just complaining about the glue bug, he worked out how to beat it consistently. And so he just ran through all of the arenas, every uh, every beat, uh, free power-ups game, and just kept beating it and beating it and beating it. And I just like couldn't believe it. I saw his score going so quickly and it was like, there's no way he's playing legit. Like, I know him as playing a legit player. He doesn't, uh, not seen him boost uh, since I've been, like, watching him. And I was like, this is crazy how high his score's going up. I'm going to need to check him out uh, to see if he's actually legit. And he just kept winning game after game after game. He told me he was going 80%. I couldn't believe it wasn't 90%. And, yeah, just truly incredible grinder. And very deserving of the top one spot, in my opinion. As the top grinder for the year 2022. And so that about concludes the uh, list for 2022. Of the top 10 grinders for 2022. Uh, for next year's variant, I am starting to uh, record each top one player's name, their score, rough idea of their prestige dash win rate. And I'm going to try and do something smart for next year's one. So I'm going to ask a load of people and having like opinion bias and all that. Get all the stuff together and use a statistical way of uh, better making the list. But uh, yeah, really hope you uh, enjoyed this video. It's taken a lot of time to edit, so I would really appreciate it. If you click the like button and comment below what your top 10 list is. See how different it is to uh, my ones or uh, any of ones else's from below. And I'll put my, uh, my list that I put up on screen now. But uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, have a nice day. And uh, yeah, see ya.